Have you ever tried cyanotypes on tree stumps? This is my first time trying this, so stick around if you want to see how this experiment turns out. So you only mix up the amount that you're going to use each time. So for some reason I was trying to do this on location and I ended up moving to the shade. If you want to see how I do this, you can watch my other video about cyanotypes on rocks. But I use a measuring spoon and I think I use four tablespoons each. After you mix the two parts together, it's light sensitive. The liquid you're working with is light sensitive. So I used the cardboard box as shade and painted it on as quickly as I could. And you can see I, I kind of used a lot. I, like I said, I've never done this before, so I want to make sure I have enough of that chemical seeping into the wood. So I left this in real time, not sped up, so you can see how much I applied. And then I had some leftover, so I went inside, got another cardboard box, and did a, the tree stump next to it. So, so you want to make sure that you've covered the bottom of the cardboard box so there isn't light coming through a crack. And um, then I put some rocks on there. So here's my setup when I came back to it after letting it dry for a couple hours, actually. When I lifted the boxes, it looked pretty dark. So I was nervous, like, oh no, maybe the cardboard is too porous and it's not gonna work. But I figured, let's go anyway. And you wanna work quickly at this stage because you're exposing it to light. So you wanna get your items down onto the tree stumps. Um, and then I used glass which is very clear for letting the light shine through and is also heavy for holding your objects in place. So now it's ready to be exposed to the sun and I left it for at least an hour. I didn't time it, <laughs> but I had read that it's better to overexpose than underexpose. After you remove your glass and your objects, you need to wash the chemicals off the surface. So I enlisted some help and had several buckets of water and watering cans ready to go. And I used my hand as well. So this is how they looked when I finished washing them. And then I let them dry. And when I went back, I was so excited that this is how they looked. I wish I would have taken a little more time on composition, 
but I was like so excited and in a rush because it's being exposed while you're placing your items. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more art.